Hello, I'm Bob the Booker and welcome to my channel. And um, you may be wondering, where is he? Um, and I'm just sort of in a meeting room at work because I basically realised that I uh, was not going to be at home for the next couple of days that much, or at least not without kind of trying to record some kind of international booker long list response at midnight tonight or something. So here I am in a slightly echoey room, apologies for that. But we have just had the international booker long list come out. Um, and uh, really, really excited to see what is on this, um, particularly as so many of these books are brand new to me. I've not heard a lot about really any of them. Um, my predictions, um, the, I mean, the only thing I predict, predicted correctly was that I would be entirely wrong with my predictions um, because I predicted two correctly, which were Stillborn by Guadalupe Mattel and um, translated by Rosalind Harvey and Time Shelter by Georgi Gospodinov, translated by Angela Rodell. Um, and yeah, those are the only two I got correct. Um, I was entirely wrong about the rest, but really excited to see what some of these books are. It sounds like from um, the, the Guardian article, at least, that, that I've been looking at that's gone out about it today, um, that they're, you know, this is the first time for a couple of languages to be on the list. So the first time for Bulgarian, um, the first time a book from Tamil, um, and uh, there was one other language um, that I cannot remember, um, and uh, Catalan as well, um, which surprises me. I would have thought Catalan would have appeared before. Um, but uh, this is really exciting because there's a long list here. There are lots of books to, to check out. Um, and just as a very quick initial response to those books, um, there are a few that I've been wanting to read anyhow, and, and so that's quite exciting. So, uh, for example, um, Is Mother Dead by Vigdis Jorth, translated by uh, Charlotte Barslund, um, is one that sounds interesting. And I, I keep on meaning to, I think I've got something, um, Long Live the Post Horn, I think I have at home of hers that I keep on meaning to read. Um, there's also Boulder by uh, Eva Balthazar, um, translated by Julia Sanchez, which I keep on meaning to read as well. I keep on hearing really great things about it. And then just a few others um, really just sort of dotted around this list. But I think it's exciting for several reasons, um, partly because we've got some new languages represented, partly because we've got a real mix of books, including um, some, yeah, it looks like some sort of quite big sort of epic books. There's a sort of a book above 500 pages, uh, um, A System So Magnificent It Is Blinding by Amanda Svensson and translated by Nicholas uh, Smalley. Um, and then just a few other just books dotted around, really. It's a weird list. I think I'm still trying to get my head around it, but I don't think that makes it a bad list. I think it might still be uh, quite an interesting one. Um, I'm really excited, especially for the Fitzcarraldo ones. There are three Fitzcarraldo books on the list, a really good bit of representation for Fitzcarraldo again. But the, I think the, the more surprising thing for me is that we haven't got um, a few sort of staples almost of... Um, of sort of presses on, on this list. So we haven't got Lolly Editions, for example, I thought they would be on there with um, with Threadripper, um, although Strager was also a book that a few people were talking about. Um, I think I'm surprised not to see um, a couple of other books really. Um, you know, Three Times Rebel Press, I thought would maybe make a debut on this list. Um, I think I thought that uh, we'd probably see something from Tilted Axis. Um, after their three books last year, and I think at least a couple of their books this year would have been eligible and I think would have been really strong contenders. Um, but that's the way with prizes, right? With This is the result of five people getting together and having a think about what their favourite books have been. Um, so all of this is to say, I mean, I'm going to be reading the long list anyway, so it doesn't really change matters, although I've only read one, which is Time Shelter. So this is going to be a busier reading, uh, reading sort of month or two than I thought it might be. <laughs> um, but uh, apart from that, I think this is a very exciting list and I'm, I'm really keen to, to read through it and, and see what happens. I will be doing hopefully solo reviews for most books um, on the list. Um, and yeah, we shall see. I'm, I'm just, ex I'm really surprised in some ways that a few of the bigger hitters like Mariana Enriquez, for example, aren't on this. Uh, but we shall see. Um, I've got to get back to work, but uh, I shall leave you with that there. I'd really love to hear your thoughts if you've read any of these other ones, um, if you're planning on reading the whole list or just some of it or, or what have you. 
Um, either way, should be an interesting couple of months. And I think if nothing else, this is this will have exposed me to a lot of new authors, uh, new to me authors and, and books. Um, so yeah, let's see. I've been Bob the Booker. Take care and speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.